The state Supreme Court is ordering the Republican-controlled state legislature to draw new legislative maps. The court ruled in a 4-3 to three decision, arguing the GOP advantage is unconstitutional because the districts drawn aren't contiguous. Joining us now to break all of this down for us is Mordecai Lee with UWM's College of Political Science. Mordecai, I have to ask you, are you surprised by the ruling? I'm a little surprised. Um, we have to go back one step. The challenge was only exactly as you said, Steph, some legislative districts are not contiguous. Now, contiguous is sort of a $3 word. Contiguous simply means that all parts of the district have to touch each other. And because of annexation laws and rules and precedents, there are some villages and townships that are not wholly contiguous. And so the Supreme Court said, flatly, the Constitution says it has to be contiguous. Go back and redraw a new map. And so using the relatively small argument about contiguity, they're saying we've got to start from scratch. So it's a small lever to make a really big change. Four of the state's last six presidential elections have been decided by less than 23,000 votes. How big of a difference do you think this is going to make in the 2024 election? I think this is going to make a huge difference because the legislature is lopsided. In other words, just as you said, Steph, we're sort of a 49-49 state. How is it that we don't have a 49-49 state assembly and state senate? And that's what the court is talking about. But I think the court was very careful. They said, these maps are, don't work because they're not contiguous, but the legislature and the governor need to send us a compromise bill. <coughs> Excuse me. So we really need to see, can, in Madison, finally, can they work through compromise? Well, and speaking to that, Republicans, they're now tasked to redraw these maps, which, of course, Governor Tony Evers, who's a Democrat, is going to have to sign off on. What is your take on these next steps? Do you think it's going to go smoothly, or are we going to see other kind of ripples happening? You know, I think this is life or death for conservative Republicans, and I'm not sure if they're willing to compromise because they might lose power. And this all goes back to the fact that the majority on the Supreme Court flipped from 4-3 conservative to 4-3 liberal. So elections have consequences. Now the Dems and the GOP have to decide, is it better to compromise and send one map to the court, or are we going to just be in deadlock with we'll a Republican map and a Democratic map? Last question for you before we let you go here. <coughs> do you think, and this is kind of your opinion here, do you think Wisconsin's going to stay a purple state after this? I'm, I'm just sort of have a cold. It's okay. <coughs> we all feel you. I, I have no I have no doubt that we're going to stay a purple state. And the question is, are we going to have a purple legislature? And it's really in the interest of all the parties to compromise and have maps so that all of us live in a district where it's equally likely that the district will elect a Republican or a Democrat. That would be true democracy, exactly as we learned in high school civics. Mordecai Lee, UWM Professor Emeritus, we always appreciate having you on and having your insight. Thank you.